Hey, it's JC. Welcome to Urban Knife Guy, where we explore the urban lifestyle and jungle survival. And today we're going to have a quick look at five options for bushcraft knives that cost about 50 US dollars each. And then I'll highlight some points that might be important to decide which might be the best knife for you. First, if you watch this channel regularly but have not subscribed, please do so to help the channel out. And if you'd like to support the channel even more, do check out my shop links in the pinned comment or description. Thanks a lot. I've done individual videos of each of these knives, so I won't go through the complete specs of each knife. You can check out the videos where I talk about the specs and even bring them out to the field for some field testing. So do check out the links in the description below. I'm really going to do a quick overview and then talk about some key points which will help you decide if any of these knives would suit you. So the common thread of all these knives is they're about US $50. Some are slightly cheaper, but they're all within that price range. So you might find something that you like if that is your budget for a bushcraft knife. This is the Condor Terrasaw made from El Salvador. It's got this plastic sheath. This is the Mora Knife Bushcraft Black from Sweden. From China, we have the Brother F005. These two knives are from Ukraine. This is the Beavercraft BSH2. And finally, we have the BPS knives in collaboration with Dutch Bushcraft Knives Bushmate Knife. So five different knives, each have their own characteristics and you can see the sheaths are a bit different as well. So this is just a plastic sheath, but you can switch it for left or right hand carry. Uh, for the more knife, it's only right side carry and that fits in just like that as well. This is a Kydex sheath. The only thing I don't like about it is the tech lock. It's a bit low. I would prefer a drop style belt clip so it hangs lower. But it's a Kydex sheath and that is well made as well. Leather sheath for the Beavercraft with a dangler. Very well made. And the same can be said for the BPS knives. Now I should mention this isn't the original sheath. This is actually the standard sheath for the knives. Also very well made and comes with a ferro rod and I, in my opinion, better than the original sheath that comes for the Bushmate. But you can see the different knives, while they're all different, you can tell they all have that bushcraft style quality in terms of the blade shape, the overall size and length, and even the handles. These three have synthetic handles and these two have wood handles. All of the knives are full tang except the Bushcraft Black, which is a kind of a partial tang all the way three quarters in. The Terrasaw is a full tang, you can see the pommel extends here, but there's this over molded plastic grip, but it is full tang. In terms of blade steels, all are carbon steels except this. Uh, this is a D2 steel, it's semi stainless. This is 1095, this is unknown, but it's a carbon steel, and these two are 1066. So in terms of edge retention, definitely the D2 would hold its edge much better than the rest. These definitely can be sharpened and stropped very easily to become very sharp. And I have done an edge retention test for a lot of these carbon steels. You can check out that video in the link in the card above or the description below. So if you want something that doesn't rustle easily, you might then want to go with the D2 steel because that is uh, semi stainless and it's got the benefit of, you know, having good edge retention, but it's not as tough as the carbon steel. So it really depends what you want to do. But by and large, these are bushcraft knives that are meant for general tasks, camping, food processing, woodcraft, carving, and maybe light battening. There are giant survival knives where you're supposed to knock them and abuse them. They're not really made for that, although these full tank knives can take uh, quite a beating, but again, not designed for that. These are supposed to be smaller knives that you can carry to do your general cutting tasks. So all these are Scandi grinds, except I would say, yes, all of them are Scandi grinds, but this has a secondary bevel. This is a true Scandi grind. This is a true Scandi grind. This true Scandi grind as well, but although I guess after I stropped it, you can see there is a bevel and this is a Scandi. But again, through stropping, I think, yeah, I did add in a secondary bevel through sharpening as well. So if that makes a difference to you, if you are very particular about the grinds, so look into what grinds they are. In terms of ergonomics, if you like the traditional wood handle, then of course you've got these choices. 
I prefer something that's a bit flat. As you can see, the two sides are flat. I personally prefer that. I don't really like fully rounded handles. This is a bit too round for me. For the synthetic handles, which I prefer, I do like my Carter, but these plastic handles are fine. In fact, the Bushcraft Black has probably the most ergonomic handle in terms of how you grip it and uh, that purchase you get and the confidence you have in the grip. Uh, these are my Carter skills. Someone has commented that this looks like the LT Right GNS. I have looked at it in detail. It's pretty close, but the end is a bit different. The LT Right is a bit more sharp. There's a bit more of a bird's beak there. But yes, very close. So, which of these knives do I think are the best? I think the best is relative because it's really what you're looking for. As mentioned, if you're looking at a full tang knife and you only want full tang, then consider these. If you want only wood handles, then consider these. If you are just more worried about overall capability, I think all are capable, honestly. I feel tested all, all can do the task that you need. So I would say the last thing would be what stands out to you aesthetically? What do you like the best? And maybe if it comes to edge retention and rust resistance, maybe that might be a point of contention as well. For me, I think actually a better choice besides the Bushcraft Black, for, which is the carbon steel, is to get the stainless steel version. That's 12C27, really tough steel. Edge retention is not that great as well, but it can sharpen quite well. But it is very tough as well, and it's a stainless steel. So honestly, if I were to choose one, Right, if I could only choose one, go back in time, of that same budget, what would I get? I, I maybe won't get any of these, but I'll get the Moro Knife Bushcraft in stainless steel. It's actually cheaper than the carbon one. Well, I hope this video has been useful. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like the content in general, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.